Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. We got a stack of books from CBCS, so let's crack them open and take a look. All right, so we got this uh, stack back from CBCS Comics. I'm going to uh, slice into it, and we'll take a look and see what we got. All right, so we got, um, I've unwrapped the stack of comics, uh, and this was a set of, oh my goodness, I sent in a total of 27 books. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done this, where I took in seven, 27 books. And I had none of them pressed. I just sent them in. Uh, I set pre-screen for the bulk of these at 9.6. The ones that were like, kind of like new books that uh, actually were all very new books. I said 9.6 pre-screen. That's it. I probably should have done 9.8 uh, since I didn't have any of them pressed. I have no idea um, how many nine sixes nine eights i haven't looked at these i do other than know that i know that about nine of them uh nine of the 27 got rejected um that didn't meet the grade so uh we'll take a look here and we'll see what we got so first one out of the back here i'm gonna try to leave them in this uh, i hate these plastics all right so this is uh an incentive for star wars the high republic number four and this came back in a 9.8. So that's good. Uh, so I'm going to try to move my list so I can see. Okay. Uh, actually, you know that this was a re yeah, this was a retailer incentive. All right. Uh, okay. So we have a bunch of they put it kind of in the middle here. They kind of spread out some of the reject books. So I'm going to pull some of these reject books out of the way, and we'll go through them at the end. And see what we're gonna do about them. All right. Next one up, uh, Star Wars: The High Republic, issue number two. Um, this is a, a retailer. Yeah, Frankie's Comics Virgin variant. It says. Um, fortunately, like none of the key information is listed on these books. Because, like, these are all, like, keys, and there's just, like, nothing on here. But, so this is, um, just a list of the Frankies. Uh, this would be art cover by, uh, Turing Clark. So, there you go. I came back at 9 8. So far, so good. Let's see, this one's got some more rejects in it. Oh, yeah, this is a beautiful cover. Uh, Star Wars The High Republic Issue 3. Nice virgin variant. This is our incentive. Oh, no, this is a retailer variant. This is um, covered by uh, Min, Mink Yu Jung. Mink Yu Jung. I don't know which retailer this was. What does it say on the back? It says uh, Comic Elite slash Comic Kingdom of... Canada. There you so I sent off a bunch of Star Wars Virgin variants, obviously. Okay, and some more rejects. Put those off to the side. Should be all my rejects. All right. So here we have another Star Wars High Republic 2. This is a um, incentive variant as well. Or sorry, a retailer exclusive. Gosh, this should be the um, Will S Will Sliney, yeah, Wanted Comics Virgin variant. That one says. And a nine eight. All right. Next up. So. This is Mike Mayhew, Star Wars The High Republic, Issue 3. Man, I got tons of glare. Um, 
and that's going to be uh, yeah another 9.8, which is good. I'm just trying to move some stuff on my monitor out of the way to reduce some glare. Maybe. Wow, not really. Huh. Too much uh, ambient light coming in from the uh, from the window, I suppose. All right, another one. Another uh, Star Wars Republic issue three. This is labeled the Comic Mint Virgin exclusive. It's a nice cover. All right. Okay, now this one, um, this is an older book. There were a couple older books in here that I, uh, ASM books that I put for pre-screen down to a 9.2 uh, because I didn't expect them necessarily to be 9.8 candidates. Uh, first one up, this came back a 9.6. This is Amazing Spider-Man 345. And uh, this is a boomerang cover appearance, Silver Sable, Venom, uh, Cardiac, and Cletus Cassidy appearance. So there you go, 9-2 on, or 9-6 on that. That's happy. Ooh. Venom cover appearance, Felissa Hardy cameo is 3-46. That in a 9.4. Very happy there. These older ones, like I said, I was. If, I, sorry, if they hit a 9.2 without being pressed, I'll be happy. And sure enough, here's 3.59. First appearance of the Carnage symbiote in Cameo. 9.2. Obviously, I sent these off uh, before the uh, second Venom movie. I mean, I wasn't going to do anything with them other than have them in my own collection, because that's how I am, but... Oh, no! No! Did I even... I thought this was set to... I don't know why they graded this. I didn't tell... I I told them to pre-screen this at a 9.6, yet they still graded it less than a 9.6. Huh. I'll have to take a look at this one and see. This is uh, Star Wars Darth Vader number one. This is Alex Ross cover variant featuring Boba Fett on the cover. Um, so this is the f first appearance of Black uh, Christanton, who, of course, got really big during the Boba Fett show. And, of course, for then, I'll also be on the Boba Fett cover. Um, of course, I sent this in before any of that. Um... I have to read these greater notes and see. Well, there's some. I see some color rub on the back side, uh, but still, I'm really surprised that they uh, went and did this because I my instructions were to reject it uh, if it was less than a nine six. Hmm. Oh, here's one now that's disappointing to see a 9.6. I hope that, well, this, uh, this color rub issue, I can see that on the back side. Okay, Dr. Afra number one. This is the retailer incentive, the 1 in 25, the droids variant. And a 9.6. First, Dr. Afra in her own title. Alright, we'll get back on our let's get back on our winning ways here. Uh, this is from volume two of Dr. Afra, number one. This is the retail one in twenty five retailer incentive. Nine eight. Ooh. Ugh. Like this. The book, I actually have two more copies of this I'm going to go set, I'm going to be sending off. Uh, Invincible Iron Man, issue three, in a 9.8. This is the first appearance of Riri Williams as Ironheart. Uh, the Ironheart dons the Model 2 armor. 
Uh, so, well, it's not the first appearance. I have the first appearance of Riri Williams as well. Uh, this is the first time she actually dons the Ironheart armor. So there we are. Uh, got a couple more of those I'm going to send off. Okay. I have uh, Spider-Verse number one. First appearance of Spider-Zero. This is the Walmart pack exclusive. Alright. Star Wars The High Republic, issue number two. A retailer incentive. Came back in 9 8. That's good. Last two books here. Alright, this one. Curious to re check the graders. Oh, damn. I wonder if that happened in transit. Huh. Undiscovered Country number one. Now, this is the convention exclusive variant. This was a pretty pricey book. Um, it turns out, as I'm looking at it, there's a l this bottom corner. Oh, it's real focus. You can sort of see it's got a little bit of a ding. It wasn't like that when I, s when I sent it off, but it doesn't mean it didn't happen in shipping. Um, that's kind of the risk. Still, 9.6 on the convention exclusive is nice. It's not as nice as the 9.8, obviously. Um, but hey. Alright, last book. Alright, so. This is another Star Wars High Republic issue number two. <laughs> and it came back in a 9.8, another virgin variant. This is the, um, uh, Comic Mint virgin exclusive so there we are so we had a lot of oh we did pretty well actually on the books that made this made the grade um very f only one of them or two of them the undiscovered country and um that droids variant of dr afra where i had set it at nine six came back nine six everything else came back nine eights if they got graded so that's cool now what got rejected Let's see here. Um, of course, I won't know because I didn't ask for them to gray, to give me the um, raw grading, which is I won't probably won't have graders notes on them. Although I'll take a look and see. I'll look it up and see. Uh, but uh, Star Wars Darth Vader issue 14, uh, which I can't remember what's key about that. I think it's it's a first appearance of something. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue 362. So this one I had at a pre-screen of a 9-2. So I'm really curious as to what's wrong with it. I'll have to take a look. Um, on why it doesn't cut it as a 9-2. Because it looks good. Um, so again, same thing with this one. This one was Amazing Spider-Man 360, uh, 360. At the end of the day, I mean, I'm not really, well, those ones I may, uh, just put back in the, I'm going to probably just put those back in my file. Uh, here's a Kev Walker, High Republic. Uh, issue three and this needs a press it has some it has some bends and finger rolls and stuff that definitely need to be pressed out okay and there's a Star Wars High Republic issue one a wanted comics virgin variant and 
So press, pre oh, how? I think this thing's got, this box got some dinging and damage in shipping because there's a, this bottom corner is really kind of janky now. Hmm. I don't know if that'll press. I'll have to see. This one is the one I'm really kind of nervous about why it didn't pass. This is the uh, Harley Quinn one per store variant. The thank you, one per store. And it too got some corner ding now. Wow. Yeah, something happened in shipping, it looks like. And some of these took some damage hmm I don't know if that card stock's gonna press out I'll have to send them to my presser and have them send them back to me before I send them in again Wow and this is a Star Wars High Republic issue 3 I'm looking at these things. I'm trying to find. Yep, yeah, well, there's always a little bit of stuff in the corners on these things. Okay. So, yeah, something. Oh, no. Alright, so this is a J. Scott Campbell Spider Man book that was difficult to come by looks like it's got yeah okay we'll have to press and see anyway so there we go it's the it's Miles Morales and Gwen on there all the all the stuff on these are very very minor but there's some some definitely some pressable uh, stuff on this, so we'll have to take a look and see. So that's a book that's worth some money. Maybe just sell it the way it is. Who knows? All right, and a Star Wars High Republic um, Adventures. Uh, this is the retailer incentive variant, and I don't. Oh, okay, there. Yeah, pressable defect on the back cover. So, like I said, I probably should have sent them into pressing first, and then, but I didn't. I was, I was lazy. And last but not least, uh, High High Republic series or issue three. This is a Virgin variant for the Illuminati group. And as I look at it, there's some little minor pressable things. I don't see any big color of issues. So, all right. So it looks like the most of these that got rejected, we could probably press them and then send them back off again. We'll definitely put a pre-screen on them just in case. Um, but there you go. Uh, nine reject books so one third of my books got rejected what does that tell me um, well again because it's the first time I did this what I, I know all of these books here's exactly what I did when I got these books um, I put them in a bag in a board and then I put them in uh, a, si a top loader and I sat them uh, on my uh, in, a, in a short box until it was time to send them out and all I did with them was grab them and throw them in the bag and set them off. I really never took a look at them in detail. And this is going to be a lesson to you uh, to look at your books if you're going to do that before you send them in. Take a good, good look at them to reduce those rejects. Uh, now, fortunately, the rejects, because I pre-screened them, they didn't slab them. Uh, there is just a, re a reject fee of like $5. Um, so it saves me a lot of money. Um, and it means that actually on all these books that did get graded, 
means I didn't have to pay pressing on them. And so that saved me, um, especially on as many of these that came back nine eights, uh, it saved me um, f for some pressing. So the moral of the story is uh, scrutinize your books more closely, only send off the ones that are in really good condition there and you, you can save yourself some money. Yeah, all right. Let me know what you think, guys, down below. Uh, until next time, collect what you like. Uh, don't listen to anybody, including myself, because, you know, just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.